Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by AngPro Training from AngPro Technologies. So friends, in this class I will be teaching you the breadth first search traversal in graph. Please go and watch our previous video where we have explained the depth first search traversal in graph and all the other earlier videos as well. Right? So let's consider this graph. So let's consider this graph on which we are going to perform the breadth first search. And in the breadth first search uh, traversal technique, we'll be making use of the queue data structure, which still we have to visit. That means the nodes which are not visited, the nodes which we are going to explore further to visit the next node, right? So here we're going to start with the node A, since uh, we are using the alphabets uh, inside the nodes. So we'll go alphabetically to visit the node. Why this is called as breadth first search? Because first we visit the first node that is A and, and we're going to visit all the adjacent node first that is B, G and D and we'll print it out. So that means we are visiting breadth wise or we are visiting level by level as we did in the level order traversal in the tree. Right? Then we move on to the next node which is alphabetically next of the A that is B and we will visit all the adjacent nodes from B that is E and F and we'll print it out and so on. Right? So let's go and do this. So this is, since this A is the first node, we'll directly print it out and A is visited. Let us mark it as visited by painting this with black color and what are the adjacent nodes that are reachable from A? that is B, D and G. Let us store all these nodes inside Q. So we can reach B. So we will print it out B. So B is so B is visited now. Next. Go back to A. G and D are left now. So G is adjacent to A. Let us visit that first. Right. D is visited. And G can be visited. Visit that and put it in the and NQ G right so G is also visited now starting from A we have visited all the nodes that can be reachable or adjacent to A that is A B D now start from B so to B E and F are adjacent let's go and visit E and F right while visiting B let's remove this from the queue that means DQB from the queue and visit E and F so E is visited and I'll put it in the queue to explore it further again. So E is now over. Now go to F. F is visited. Enqueue it to explore it further. Right. Now all the nodes which are adjacent to B are now over. Now go to Q. Check for D and there is no node associated with D which is adjacent, right? Go and check in the queue. There is no node which can be reachable from G which is not visited. So check in the queue. So there is no node as well with E. Now with the node F. So there is a node called C which can be reachable from F. So visit this and queue this and this is now visited, right? Okay. Now check in the queue. F so there is no node which can be reachable from F which is adjacent and which is not visited. Now from C there is a node which can be visited. So H print it out and mark it as visited. Right. So check the queue. NQC there is no node. Check the queue. NQH so there is no there is no node. So since queue is empty we have done with the breadth first search. So this is the output A, B, D, G, E, F, C and H. So this is the output. So this is the list of the node which is the output of the breadth first search algorithm. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like our page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.